Alright, so we're going to be using finger picking throughout this song. Now the intro starts on an A minor chord. So as a general rule of thumb, we want the E, A and D strings to be played by the thumb, the G string with the first finger on the right hand, the B string with the second finger on the right hand, and the high E string with the third finger on the right hand. So on the A minor chord, we've got the thumb playing the bass note on the A, and we're going to play the D and the B strings together with the thumb and the second fingers. Back to the A string with the thumb, then we're going to pick G with the second finger and D with the thumb. And the high E with the third finger, and back to the A string with the thumb. We've got B with the second finger, and then the thumb on the D string to pick up on the G string. the thumb on the A. Now the last little part of this bar is a little bit tricky because we're going to play the open G string. So we need the open, take the second finger off there on the G string on the second fret. We're going to play it open and hammer on to the second fret. We're only going to play it once and hammer on. But when we hammer on we also want to play this D string with the thumb at the same time. So we're only playing the D string there but we're hammering on at the same time to the second fret of the G pick up on the B string with the second finger. That might feel a little bit tricky to start with, a little bit awkward, but keep practicing and you'll get it. So the whole first bar there. Okay, so on the second bar we're still on an A minor chord. We've got the same thing, we start with an A. We pick the D and the B strings together, back to the A. I'm going to pick G, D, B. A, G, D, B. So the whole bar up there so far, second bar. And same thing again. This time we're going to take the first finger off the B string and play it open. So that whole bar. Okay, so the first two bars there. to the verse. So the verse starts with an A minor chord again and it's a very similar picking pattern uh, to the second bar of the intro. We're only going to play this A minor for half a bar and then we'll be changing to a G chord. So we start off with the A string, the D and B strings together, and back to the A, and then we're going to pick G, D and B, but this time the B will be open straight away. So take that first finger off. So the whole bit so far. And then we move to a G chord, which is really just a bass note on the on the G here, the third fret, the low E. Okay, so we're gonna play on the G chord, we're gonna have the bass going E string, D string, E string, D string. So we've got the low E, then we've got D and B together. Back to the low E, I'm gonna pick G. G. Nice and easy that one. So A minor, G. Again. And then we're going to go to a D major chord. Now the D major chord is slightly different because the bass notes on the D string here, the fourth string. So we're going to play the D string and the G strings as if they're the bass notes with the thumb. 
would be alternate picking between the two there. Um, I like to play the B and the high E strings still with the second and third fingers on the right hand, but you can play with them with the first and second if you prefer, that's entirely up to you. It just feels more comfortable to me to do it with the second and third. Um, so anyway, so we've got the low D to start with. I'm gonna pick G with the thumb and the high E string with either your second or third fingers. Back to the D. I'm gonna pick B, thumb again on that G there. Then we've got an open B string, so we can take our hand off completely at that point. Then we move to the A chord. We've got the traditional picking here, so thumb's gonna be moving from the A to the D. And we're gonna have first finger on the G, second finger on the B, and third finger on the high E string there to pick it. So we've got open A, followed by a D string and a B string together. Back to the A. Then we've got the G, D, and open again on the B. So we take our fingers off for that. So the A is. so far and we're back to an A minor chord and it's picked the same way as the first time through the verse so A D and B together back to the A then G D open B G again, same picking, so just that third fret there on the low E. Then we go to the A chord, but this time for a full bar. So we pick the A string open, then the D and the B strings together, and back to the A. Then we go G, D, B. Then we've got open A, G, D, high E. So, so far in that bar. Then we finish it off with A, B, D, G. So, that whole bar. And the whole of the first verse. should mention that when we're coming off an open string, we do hammer on as we're going there to the chord, or we're just putting the finger down to the next chord, and you can kind of hear it. Um, so on the tab, it will suggest that you're hammering on, but we just kind of hear it getting put down. So for example, if we come off this A chord, you can kind of hear it going down. We're, we're kind of hammering it down for the next chord, but we're not playing it, it's just happening there. Okay, and then we're into the chorus. So the chorus starts off exactly the same way with exactly the same picking. We've got that A minor chord to the G, D, A, and we change at that point there. So from the A chord, we've got the bass note on the A string, then we've got D and the B strings together. Back to the A. Then we've got pick up there on the G. And then we're actually going to play a second fret on the A string at the B there. So the second fret, the second finger on the left hand. And that's going to walk us up to this note for our next bar for the C. So and then we're into a C chord there. On the C chord, we're going to play alternate bass from A to D strings. So we've got your C chord down, we're going to play A string, D and B together, back to the A string. G, D, open B. So we take the first finger off there on the B string for open. So the C chord goes. And we're back into our D chord, same picking as last time. Pull bar. And then we're into the A chord. It's exactly the same picking as it is in the verse. Chorus so far, A minor, G, D, A, that little 
run to the C. D. A. And again, A minor. G. D. A. Run. C. D. A. Okay, so the second time through the chorus is a slight change when we get to the final A chord. We're going to run through the little C section with the little B, C run again at that point. So it starts off the same, it's got A minor, G, D, A, run, C, D, that note there we're going to go to the little run so it's a on the a chord we've got a string d and b together back to the a and got g d b again and a a string then g d high e and a and g and that's when i'll run from the b note on the second fret that a comes in into the C, so C is the same, D is the same, A is like the first version. So let's play through the whole chorus. We've got A minor, G, D, A with the run, C, D, A major, A minor, G. A, run to the C, D, A major, run, C, D, A major. But once the picking part's finished, there are some chords to strum. Um, the chords are exactly the same chord progression as they are in the verse and the chorus of the song. Um, so the only difference is we're strumming them, and between the strums, we hit the open strings as a strum to swap. So A minor. G, D, A, A minor, G, A. And that's the verse, and you can hear the open strums in between there. So A minor, open to G, open to D, open to A, A minor, open to G, open to A major. So the chorus goes A minor, G, D, a, C, D, A. A minor, G, D, A, C, D, A. C, D, A. So exactly the same chord progression, just strummed, and between them we can hear the open strings in there. As always, jam along and play along with the original song. You'll improve a lot quicker if you play along with the, with the record of the song rather than just jam along on your own at home. Um, so definitely do that. Other than that, take care and happy practicing.